So this is the follow-up video to the video that I made about a couple weeks ago about the NVIDIA Control Panel's 3D settings over here. So if you haven't watched my video about that, I'd highly recommend going and checking that out before you go and follow the rest of the steps here. This is going to be a lighter video, more about cosmetic changes to your NVIDIA Control Panel more than anything else with frame rate. There are a couple settings here that may help with frame rate if you test them out and they actually do help. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. First setting that's been having some debates online regarding it is physx the only relevant information i could find with this and escape from tarkov is like six years ago so i'm not even sure if it's entirely accurate uh, which is why i decided to run the test for myself just to see if there was any change from switching the setting uh from auto select to say gpu or cpu and i really could not find much of a difference with my rig which leads me to believe that tarkov doesn't really use this that much anymore i could be wrong but it does not really affect my performance in any way and it probably won't help yours either the only evidence that i could find to set this one way or the other is the fact that it is made by nvidia this is an nvidia tech it's a physics simulation program so people are anecdotally saying because of that it's made to be run on nvidia hardware not on an amd or intel cpu if you're unable to notice any difference whatsoever just keep this at auto select and then move on but you could try the gpu and see for yourself if you notice any difference from here we're going to jump down to change resolution uh, and in here there is some settings that you will want to actually change if you want to get more vibrant colors and to make sure that you're getting the highest refresh rate on your monitor First one, obviously you can see by the screen, is the refresh rate here. You just want to make sure this is set to the highest available. And then once you do that, you want to scroll on down to the NVIDIA color settings here. Down here, I like to set my NVIDIA color settings to this, and then I click on Output Dynamic Range and set this to Full. And what this does, it allows for deeper shades of black and white on your display, just so that you're able to see more clearly in darker areas and distinguish different shades of dark or bright colors more easily. I personally really enjoy this setting and I recommend everybody to try this out as it really does brighten up your display and it can make your use of your computer overall a lot more enjoyable and less dull. Next in desktop color settings, it was really hard for me to say for some reason, there is a setting that I do like to adjust based on what display I'm using and that's digital vibrance. Just allows for colors to pop a bit more. I know people don't like their displays looking like Fortnite all the time. But sometimes having a little extra color does help, especially if you're in a competitive shooter like Tarkov. So you can play with this while you're in Raid and see what works best for you. It is a better way to do it than, say, using post effects, but I do tend to use both just because I'm a maniac like that. But this does apply globally, too, so it may help in other games where you may not have those options at all. From here, we're going to jump all the way down to adjust the desktop size and position. And here's a setting that's been debated in the community is supposedly helping you increase frame rate and that's the scaling mode for your monitor slash desktop to be perfectly honest with you guys i have not been able to find any difference in performance using any of these maybe it's one of those settings where i don't think it's gonna change anything but i still recommend it and then fifteen thousand people comment in the comments saying that it gave them an extra 30 fps i don't know but allegedly everybody and their mother is stating that you should set this to no scaling and then display. You can try this out for yourself and see if it actually helps you out, but again, it's been really hard for me to find any difference with these settings at all. I'll have a timestamp down below if you just want to skip over this, but if you want some more background as to what each one of these settings are, I'll provide that here real quick just so that you guys know what you're dealing with here. So as you know, these are all scaling for your display, so if you have an application that's not fully taking up your display, it will scale it to fit that display. Aspect ratio expands the desktop as much as possible while maintaining the same proportions with said application. Full screen just stretches it to the full length of your display. No scaling is, well, no scaling. And that's why people recommend it the most is it's not doing anything, period. And then integer scaling is available on the 20 series and up. Uh, and it scales smaller than native resolution sources by duplicating the pixels to the maximum size of your resolution. Of your monitor if you just want to follow the herd and do the easiest thing you can always set it to no scaling and then display i do actually recommend putting it on display instead of gpu just for the sole purpose of some articles recommending that it be set to display as it actually puts some of the load of scaling on the display instead of putting all the work on your gpu they said there could be minor impacts to quality with this though so test this and if you notice no difference at all it might not hurt to just set it to this and leave it be. And also don't forget that you can always set the refresh rate here as well to the highest preferred one available. Next, we're going to go over to G-Sync. And this is one of those settings I've discussed before. I 
pretty sure I discussed this in the original video about the NVIDIA control panel. This you can just disable if you don't use it in any application and you're fine with screen tearing and you want the fastest fastest PC possible, I should say, lowest latency possible, more like. If you do use it in some applications, though, you may want to just keep it on if you do enjoy not having that screen tearing. Otherwise, you can disable this. Next setting we're going to go to is video color settings, and this is just one of those settings that helps with vibrancy, specifically in videos that you're playing back on your computer. It also has the same advanced dynamic range here that you saw before, so we're going to set this to full just so that that dynamic range is applying to any videos that you play on your computer as well. Besides that, there's nothing else that I mess with in these settings as all of it's specifically tailored towards video playback on your computer. If you do a lot of that sort of thing, it might be more useful to look into these settings and see if any of these help you with image quality on your device, but for the sake of gaming, you don't really need to worry about any of these settings here. Just ensure that if you do see RTX video enhancement, you have this set to off so that you're not upscaling videos you're playing in your browser without you actually knowing it. So this is a pretty cool setting if you want to check it out. But regardless, that's about it for this video. I covered pretty much everything that has to do with either performance or user comfort. There are some things that I skipped over in this, but all of those settings don't have anything to pertain to what we're covering in this video. So I kept it straight to the things that might help you out and give you a better gaming experience on your device. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And we do have a Discord as well that you can join to ask any questions you may have in there. Uh, besides that, make sure to subscribe, all that stuff. And it really does help us out. Make sure to like the video. I, I'm going to stop the bullshit and end this video before it gets too long. It's Clem, walking out. Later.